Good day, everybody. It is January 11th, 2024. Can't believe it. We're leaving the Sessions Resort right now. Sessions Retreat and Resort. Hotel, man, I really enjoyed that place. I really enjoyed that place. I'll get back to that in, in a little bit, but don't forget, guys, go to my Instagram page in the comment section of all these previous maybe six or seven videos. There's a link, and it will show you the instructions on how you can win your free Airbnb up here. Plus, second place prize is one of our really nice hoodies from Champion, and third place is 50 bucks cash. I would love to see everyone win, and someday I'll be able to do something good enough to, to where everybody can get something. I would love to do that for you guys, but this is the aftermath video of what just happened overnight, and it really wasn't a whole bunch here. As you can see, not a whole bunch. We are gonna go over toward to the snowiest part of town, go around the lake that that direction, and we're just gonna stick to the snowier part of town instead of go to where I know there's absolutely no snow. If we if it was a bigger storm, of course, because I always love showing you guys the big bear snow rule. I love it. But yeah. You guys will definitely dig sessions it's a just fantastic spot and the ownership prices things at <clears throat> prices that I never Im imagined a business owner up here would price things like he's very 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 beyond fair and wants everyone to enjoy themselves up here and takes care of them he's he's a wonderful guy his name's Frank super 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 cool you guys will pay a lot of times the Motel 6 prices, guys, which is just unheard of for a place like that. And Motel 6 prices up here when it's completely off season or middle of the week after the holidays is, is usually between like 70 and 100 bucks. And this place is has been fully renovated. It's just super comfortable. Um, I did make a video for it. It'll be posted in about a week or so. So, yeah. I just hope you guys enjoy it. I, I know you will. I know you will. Oh, I always like to do a little stroll through, through the village for these aftermath videos. And these snow, snow videos. It's a beautiful place. And then don't forget, guys, we did drop some new merch, some Calm Before the Storm gear, um, new new mugs, just some really, really, really cool, cool, nice stuff, you guys. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. That's where you can also click on the link to buy your Ski Warrior goggles, and there will be a code discount code there that you need to use as well so you can save yourselves a bunch of money all right and last but not least don't forget about get boards best place up here for your rentals and anything you need when it comes to skiing and snowboarding and if you mention the channel they will wax your skis and snowboards free of charge the owner tony is just super cool super cool dude Make sure you hit that place up. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit tired. It's just about 11 a.m. I am a, a bit exhausted because I was up till till it was light for the most part. Like just just as it was just getting a little bit light outside. Dealing with the uploading of the video and stuff like that. I'm telling you, that's been a huge blessing, a lot more than I anticipated. 
It's good to hear from you, dude. Hope things are going good for you, man. Let me tell my wife what I'm doing real quick. Because I just left the hotel. Checkout's at 11. Hey, babe, I'm going in, uh, to do the aftermath video right now. So I'll be home in probably 35 minutes or so. Oh, yeah. So another reason besides this being the snowiest part of town that we're driving into, that we're taking this route, is because this is what most of you drive in on. So I just want you to see what you're going to be expecting when you're coming up here. And right now it's 29 degrees outside, guys, and it's 11. So it's still really, really cold. These, This wet area, just always assume it's black ice. Just always assume it's black ice, not just wet. That would not be the ideal situation coming up here to have fun and then you get into a little bit of an accident. I want you guys to really have a great time. But yeah, and don't just assume it is because it actually is. If I hit my brakes right now, we'd be spinning in circles. That's hilarious. Yes, I did. get these text messages from 1-800-Flowers. Because I like to get, get my wife's stuff from there. Hasn't been as much as it used to be, but, you know, those times will come back again. We're actually going to go to one of these dumps here real quick. It's the trash dump just to uh, toss this one bag of trash in here. Hang on. All right, here we go. Just dump the trash from where we stayed. I don't know if, if we had to do that, but you never want to get charged extra for being lazy. So we took all our trash with us and I just dumped it away. We're back on Big Bear Boulevard. Beginning to enter the snowiest part of the valley. Oh, it is so pretty out here, my gosh. We really do get some, some beautiful weather up here. We get 300 plus days of sunshine up here, you guys. That's a lot of sunshine. And what's amazing though is that when I used to go down the mountain a lot, and I mean a lot, it would be just like this up here, just beautiful and clear. And then down the mountain, it was just thick, thick clouds and, and uh, drizzle and just, yeah, just big time marine layer stuff. But being up here, you just never know what's going on down there because it's it's always it's always like this. It, it's either it's either raining or snowing or it's like this and it's mostly like this Boulder Bay Park great little spot great little spot coming into a little bit more snow over here. <clears throat> As you 
you can see everything's a little bit wider over here. Oh, I brought these with me because people asked and this is what Dr. Jason told me to get for depression. So I hope you guys are seeing that. And he's a very, very brilliant man. And I am uh, completely confident with his suggestions. So that's what we are taking twice a day. And he said it's supposed to kick in typically within a couple days to, to maybe four or five days at the most. Unlike your other SSRIs, which take, um, I mean, months, two months to start feeling any positive effects from them. So thank you again, Jason. We appreciate it big time. I'm hoping we get above freezing on this drive so I can use my windshield wiper fluid. are a little bit more of a mess over here but still not bad at all guys still not bad at all still not a bad excited to see our new time lapse guys because we we did it at that that little hotel <laughs> and it got so windy i always forget how where i live i'm surrounded by much bigger buildings so we don't get nearly as much wind not nearly as much wind but i felt like we were in the Wizard of Oz and, and that, that the hotel was going to lift off, lift off and fly away. I mean, it was really, really windy at about 6 in the morning. Alright, so we're almost to the dam. Again, you guys, we are in the snowiest part of the valley over here. When it comes to other neighborhoods that get a lot of snow, middle and upper moon ridge because of its elevation and its proximity to the mountain itself gets hammered pretty good as well but for the 6750 or 6800 feet elevation this is the snowiest area Yeah, I don't think you guys will have a hard time getting up here. Just always make sure you check with Caltrans because it, it clearly looks like they wouldn't be implementing any chain requirements. So um, you just always want to either call 800 Caltrans for the automated system or go to the Caltrans website. And it's super simple. There's a drop down menu if you're using your phone on the top and then you'll click on like travel plans or something like that and then it'll give you the option to type in your highway number or numbers that you plan on driving on and it'll populate all of them 
at the same time for you. And it's super, super easy. It'll let you know exactly what's going on. It is a very simple process. Beautiful lake, man. Oh my goodness gracious. We're still at 28 degrees. I'm thinking when we get closer to Stanfield cutoff, we'll be up around 30. I just want it to be a little warmer so I can use my windshield wiper fluid. So I don't have to pull over and throw snow on the windshield to clean my windshield. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes, sir, it is what it is. But I am wondering where I put my, my, my fan, my fan. one behind us so we're just gonna drive a little bit slow to get these beautiful lake views okay Incredibly beautiful here. Just not a cloud in the sky. It's just absolutely wonderful. I really do wish you could all be here with me. It's a great experience. One of these days, you guys, we're gonna get a lot of snow. We are. Don't know what day or when that day will appear, but we will, we will.
brown skin over here. And we are going to have to throw some snow at the windshield to clean it up a little bit. It is 30 degrees though. Just, uh, another 2 degrees and my, my wiper fluid will start to uh, melt a little bit. It's amazing to me how it's frozen because I asked them to put in the 0 degree stuff and then I verified with them afterwards. Are you sure you put in the right windshield wiper fluid? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, what well, the... Well, unfortunately, it's the wrong one. And hi, Jackie and Shadow, you two beautiful, lovely birdies. We're just passing them right now. I heard that they had a lot of wind last night up there. I never get a chance to watch that channel. I always, always forget to because I'm just so busy doing other things. And I love it how some of you let me know what's going on with that eagle's nest because I absolutely love them. I, I just always forget to check that out. I always forget. One of these days, one of these days, Alice, all right, hang on a second. We're just gonna, as I said, throw a little bit of snow on the windshield to help clean it off, hang on. And we are in fawn skin. So that's all I'm gonna do is just put a little a tiny bit of snow up there. Now, just use the wiper. I feel like I dropped something off the side of the car here. Well, I sure hope I didn't. I've got cameras and all that stuff on me right now. Boom, look at that. Like a glove. can't wait till this tributary is going. This is such a beautiful little spot also. At the bottom of that beautiful wall right there is a waterfall when we do have snow melt going on. And it's a beautiful little waterfall. That's one of our tributaries that takes a lot of the mountain snow and runoff and puts it right into the lake where it belongs. Where it belongs. It's in the lake for the first time. Where it belongs. Oh. There's San Gorgonio way out there. Oh, it's just, I mean, seriously, it's so pretty, you guys. And for those of you wondering, <clears throat> because I did get a question, if you're hurting financially, why would you stay at these hotels? Well, there's numerous, numerous reasons. One is that to wake up with a different perspective and see something different for a couple mornings every now and again is paramount to my well-being. Absolutely is. And two, it's a good investment for the channel because I'm trying to, as you guys can probably tell by now, I'm a bit OCD about this stuff. Like not just a bit, I'm extremely OCD about it. And I want to be able to stay in every hotel up here to post it in the lodging section of this channel. So you guys can see with your own eyes what these hotels look like before coming up here and potentially being disappointed. And I've got a bunch of hotels on my lodging playlist. And the hotel that we just stayed at, I'll be posting that video in, in about a week. And also guys, 99% of the time, they know who I am and they offer me like insane, insane discounts. For instance, do you guys remember last year when I stayed at the Marina Riviera? They were charging me for some of the nights it was like $79, you guys. And I just can't let that go. 
especially as I said, because with my depression, getting that different perspective waking up, I know some people just will not understand and will think I'm very irresponsible for doing stuff like this, but I mean, I'm, I'm doing things in, in that way, in a very selfish way to help, to help me like big time. And it really does. I know it sounds stupid, but it really helps me out. And again, it's a great investment for the channel because I can add more and more lodging videos to help you guys out. <clears throat> um, and keep in mind, because I do this stuff, as I said, I, I do get offered, you know, like a super special rate most of the time. I never ask for it, ever, 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 and I never will. But I guess that's part of the benefit of my consistency and my persistence with this channel and never not doing these videos. I'm always on top of it. And thirdly, the merchandise store is doing pretty darn well. So I I was able to catch up on everything. Um, and my regular business started to really pick up in the past three weeks or so, like really, really, really pick up. So yeah, everything's happening in, in a positive way all at the same exact time. But guys, I am irresponsible. Like, uh, you know, I, I, I should probably sell my motorcycle is what some, some people suggest. But once again, that is one of the only things in life that gives me freedom and allows me to actually meditate because on the motorcycle, you have to be in the here and now. There's no other options or you will not make it. You have to focus on what's going on right now. So whenever I'm riding that thing, I'm not thinking about all the things I think about throughout the whole day that make me miserable and sad and upset. I try to be strong, you guys, but I am not. I try to do the very best I possibly can. And also, my wife really loves staying at these places and doing things like this. And she's got a really, really great Airbnb cleaning business. And so this time of year, she does very well, like very, very well. And uh, she loves helping out when it's necessary. So God bless her. It's just as, as a man, I, I, I don't like asking her for anything like that. And I want to be the one paying for everything, you know, I believe in chivalry. I believe in that old school way where, you know, I, I want to buy her everything. I do. And it's just crazy to me how some people think that's a really bad thing. I mean, guys, she works her butt off. She runs an incredible business. Um, as I said, this this time of year, she, she does very, very, very well. And I am so, so proud of her. I mean, she is, she's one of the hardest workers that I've ever known. She's she busts her butt and so she deserves everything that's coming to her um but yeah that's why i stay at these hotels guys those are the reasons that i stay at these hotels um again it probably in the big scheme of things would be better to invest that money in my bills etc but you know what i always make it happen and you only live once i have a ton of different credit cards um you know, I, I, I just, it's, as I said, I'm a very weak person. And when I'm feeling down and out, doing things like that make me feel, feel better. And at, at the time, it's about immediate gratification. And then I worry about the bills afterwards. But you know what, I, I just, I just won't talk about those types of struggles um, anymore. Because I don't, I, I don't want people getting mad at me because I'm staying at a hotel when, you know, I'm struggling a bit financially. I'm just doing the best I can, you guys. That's all. And I don't, I don't get much up here. <coughs> I don't get to do much. I get to do these videos and I get to communicate with you guys, which makes me happier than anything in the world. But yeah, that's why I stay at these hotels. It's mainly for the YouTube channel investment. And as I said, with my OCD, you guys, like I have to stay at every single place up here. And uh, 
that's 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 the goal well we are on highway 38 aka the north shore Again, it's a beautiful day. It seems like the town is very, it's very quiet out here. For those of you who like to be in the mountains and enjoy your solitude, come up during the week. It's always the best time, come up during the week. at Stanfield Cutoff. <laughs> this runs along the very end of our lake and it takes you from North Shore to South Shore. South Shore is where all the resorts are, folks. So we just did the tour, you guys, that we just stayed in the area where 90% of you are going to be staying. So you could, you know, just get the gist of what's going on here. And as I said, roads are in pretty good shape right now. I haven't hit any ice. I haven't, well, I, 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 as I said, all these dark spots where it looks wet out here, just assume that that's ice. But I've been fortunate enough so far today to not have any issues. I don't think you guys will have any issues. Just drive carefully. Try to get up here while the temperatures are as close to freezing or above as possible. So between like 12 and 3 p.m. is probably your best bet to get up here if you are concerned about driving on potential icy roads. So anyway, in the meantime, thank you guys again for everything. I hope you enjoy this video. As I said, the hotel video will be posted in maybe a week or so. Sessions, retreat, and hotel. Just an awesome place. Wait till you guys see it. It's just awesome, awesome. Um, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, please. And uh, share, share these videos to help this channel expand even further. I'd appreciate it. Um, and yeah, don't forget, go to the comment section in these videos and uh, click on following me on Instagram and read the instructions to win because I want you guys, I want as many people to enter it as possible because I can't wait to do this giveaway for you all. <laughs> so thanks again. You guys take care. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.